one and a half years. It's a pilot project. It's a new project. It's a pilot project. And we've also been delivering, uh, we've been carrying COVID samples in West Nile from uh, Moyo to Ajumani, where the testing lab was. So these are the drones that we've been using. Uh, this is a huge one. Uh, it's called the Outer X. It carries around, around 10 kilograms of drugs. Though its disadvantages, the more it carries, the less it goes in terms of distance. So uh, it will carry 10 kilograms, but it won't go beyond around 10 kilometers. So that's why we are opting for smaller ones that carry less, but go further distance. For example, this is the it's a DJI M300. So we, how we operate in Kalanga, it's the one we use in Kalanga, how we operate. So we operate under Ministry of Health uh, Delivery Service model, what we call DSD model. So we operate under CCLAD, Community Client Led Delivery, whereby we have one person uh, in a group or in a community that picks up drugs for, for others uh, and then delivers the drugs to them. So the drone will come in the community, land, uh, one person will pick up the drugs, the group leader then will distribute the drugs to the people in the community. So those just groups, the CCLAD, we always have groups of seven, seven, seven people. So you will see we've designed it to carry seven drugs per, per each trip. So when the drone comes to the landing site, we always have a, a landing tag, like a cloth, a piece of cloth. It always look for that piece of cloth and it will land directly where that cloth is. That what we call uh, in the drone world precision landing. It always land at the exact spot where you want it to land. So after landing, a person will uh, we've trained people in the community because we are not in the community. We are at the health facility, we just send drugs. So we train people at the community to receive the, the drone. Once the drone is there, they will open, uh, pick up the drugs, and then take the drugs to uh, the people in the community uh, or the people in the group. Then the drone will also return to make several, several, several drugs. Yeah. So it has impacted a lot to the people uh, in Kalangala where we are piloting it. Like those that had stigma, drugs are now coming in to your house directly by, by a peer support worker, the person who brings drugs where you are. The only time the patient will see um, a medical worker is when they are going for their annual viral load to check their adherence and suppression. So they will, that's the only time they, they will go to see a health worker. So they are always receiving drugs and only go there once to uh, lead for, for viral load. Yeah.